crunchy chicken sandwich prepared gluten free. Uh, chips, and do you have the pumpkin seeds? Okay, I'll do those too. Hi guys. Hi. That one's his, yeah. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. For lunch today, we are at my, uh, I'd say, all time favorite lunch spot. Um, this is Local Foods. Uh, there's five locations, four in Houston and one in Austin. Um, our favorite, I would say our shared favorite, is the crunchy chicken sandwich. Uh, they are able to prepare um, it gluten-free by not using the typical um, nut mixture batter that they use on the chicken, um, and they use their homemade chips instead, um, and as well as a delicious gluten-free wrap. Now, if you get the normal sandwich, it comes on a pretzel bun, so that looks really delicious. Um, pretty good. Like I said, homemade chips, and then uh, I got their pumpkin seeds, and Michael's got the seasonal fruit, which is watermelon. So this is a fun place. It's kind of like the uh, farm to table kind of um, theme. Um, so delicious food, and um, we're gonna enjoy this. Yeah, you said, you said there's four locations here in Houston. In Houston, yeah. So we're at the. Uh, I don't is even know what you're. Is this considered Tanglewood? Yeah, it was sort of right off of uh, Westheimer and Bering. So I guess the crossroads would be West. No, 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 this is not West. San, this is San, San Felipe. San, San Felipe. Um, in between Bering and Chimney Rock. So yeah. Um, yeah, so we're good. Yeah, I'm going to eat. It, <laughs> this is such a delicious sandwich. It's got uh, fresh green lettuce, tomato, um, it does come with cheese, um, delicious chicken, I think there's actually pickles on here, but I, I, I think you've always gotten it with pickles, honestly. Are those pickles? They're probably homemade pickles, honestly. Uh, I thought they were cucumbers. Well, they are likely pickled cucumbers. A pickle. <laughs> you know, I have to admit that I actually like the gluten-free bun better. I it's really it's just, doughy, actually, which is very rare for gluten-free. I mean, free. this pretzel bun is very good, but it's it's a little messy compared to the gluten-free bun, where it's like more of a wrap. So, but still pretty good. So when we walked in, there was a table set up with. Tons of bottles of wine. And um nice bottles too. Because we were talking to the manager that that was setting up the table. Because we noticed a bottle of Camus on the table. It's like, oh we just went there. So we were just talking about how you know, we spent a couple days at in Napa a few weeks ago, a month ago now. Um, so we asked where we were going or where we went. And he's like, oh wow, so. <laughs> we have a full wine fridge, we don't yeah, need any more. Yeah, he's, he was trying to get us to buy some, and we're like, no. Although have, they did have the GH Mom champagne. Oh. Hmm. I didn't see that one. They had it here? Yeah, I pointed at it. Oh. <laughs> Check the footage. It wasn't recording. Dang it. <laughs> Homemade chips. It's almost like an old bay seasoning or something. It's a really different flavor and delicious. So, I have to admit that if these are truly pickles. I'm pretty sure it's those um, smaller cucumbers. Uh, so they're not pickles? Well, so. A pickle. Oh no, is a pickled cucumber, well, right? Yes. So they, so I'm sure they make these homemade. Vinegar and sugar overnight. So, to me, these aren't really pickles. They don't. They're not very pickly. They are. That's a thing. They are mild. It's probably the, probably the only pickle that I enjoy eating. If it is a pickle. I have no idea. 
It tastes more like a cucumber to me. <laughs> now the location that they have on Westheimer. Westheimer and um, Kirby. Is that Kirby? Oh yeah, yeah, it is Westheimer Kirby. Um, so that location, it's fairly small on the inside, so it's limited seating. I think we've parking. only been there during the week. We went there one Sunday when we went to the symphony. But their outdoor patio is pretty nice. big and it's really, really nice. Very shaded, very comfortable. But um, trying to sit outside in August, it's Although not this worth won't it. go up in August. So even when this does go up, it's still not worth it. <laughs> There's one in Wright's Village. Where's the fourth one? The Heights. Okay. You know, so we're curious. Um, for those of you that have tried local foods, whether it's in the four locations here in Houston or the one in Austin, um, you know, put down in the comment section of, uh, you know, what you like to get here. Cause I don't this is know. the only thing I've ever gotten. Yeah, I don't know if I've gotten anything else other than a crispy chicken sandwich. Um, it's really good, but we may be missing out on something else. So, you know, one thing that we forgot to get that we've gotten here is um, they have like this cocktail. I don't remember what it's called. We've gotten it at the. Uh, the Westheimer fruity Kirby one. location. It's like a fruity cocktail, sparkling cocktail. Um, it's really good. Easy. Easy to drink. So one thing that we mentioned wine earlier. <laughs> I can't eat like, it when you're talking. <laughs> what? But one thing that's like surprising is if you were to order a bottle of wine or buy a bottle of wine, it's the, the cost yeah, of- There's um, not too much markup. Yeah, the markup is so minimal. Like the bottle came as cab that we walked by- $75. Yeah, $75. And I think, I don't know- That's I'm, what you pay at a grocery store. Right. So the markup is so minimal. And if you go to a normal restaurant, my goodness, it's probably double, double if not least. more than double. So we've gone to um, mainly the, the Westheimer Kirby location for happy hour, if you will, but just went there after work. Uh, we bought a couple bottles, mm -hmm. um, not between the two of us. Yeah. We, we wouldn't be able to drive home <laughs> if we did, but we went there with you know a few other coworkers and um, enjoyed a couple bottles mm -hmm. outside in their patio. And it was great because it, like I said, the cost was was so affordable. Yeah. Um, definitely worth it. I've been there. Nicer bottles as well, like we had Duckhorn and Emelo Merlot. Uh, yep. In fact, I think that's what we got that one time was the Emelo Merlot and the Duckhorn Merlot. I think we shared it amongst. Those two, but among like six of us, something like that. It was good. And, man, reasonably priced. So it's even cheaper to do that coming here than going to like a, a normal bar and getting a couple glasses. Yeah, or cocktails or something. Where you would spend, I don't know, 10 to $15 on one glass. These pumpkin seeds are my favorite. They're roasted, salted have a spice on them. They go really nicely on a salad. Oh, wow. And sweet. That's, that's really good. Want one? Sure, you want some of these? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Makes you want a watermelon margarita. I agree. 
<laughs> so do you think Claire should make a video on how to make a watermelon margarita? Thumbs up below. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. So, can I get a box, please? Thank you. Perfect. That was nice. Dad, he even gave you a That's very nice. little thing for the pumpkin seeds. She's scraping every little seed. <laughs> they are so good. To bring home. Don't leave one out. I won't. Well, I'll leave that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's not working out very well. You're even taking the tiny chips. And? Oh my gosh, that, that was <laughs> like tiny. Jeez. Put on their judgy pants this morning. <laughs> I bet you later on he's gonna like sneak a taste of these pumpkin seeds and he's gonna eat them all. So it's a good thing that I'm getting as many as I can. I actually don't know if I've had the pumpkin seeds. They yet. are delicious. I love pumpkin seeds and these are like the best. Yeah, yeah like lunch. That sandwich is a lot. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't finish mine. Um, the proportions here are... Um, Very generous. It, yes. Um, and you get to pick the, two sides, so. I mean, usually at lunch, we'll get like one side or... Yeah. So how much did we spend? We got two, two sandwiches, two sides each. Upgrade for the gluten-free. Two. Yeah. Two Topo Chico's. Yeah. Like thirty-five dollars, I think. So it's not like a cheap lunch. It's right. not something you would really do every day, but it's it's delicious. And the price justifies what you get, in my opinion. It's a good environment. There has to be people out there that do this every day. I mean, the four locations here in Houston, they're in areas where. Well, they're always busy. I mean, we oh, came gosh. early because it's always oh, yeah. busy. But yeah, this place is always busy. Um, very good. Again, if you guys have been here, yeah, let us know what else, else to try. Yeah, because we definitely want to be able to try something else. Um, I do, at least. I'm sure you could get the gluten free bun on any of the other types of sandwiches. Yeah. So, you know, let us know in the, in the comment below. Hey, give it a thumbs up um, if you enjoyed this video or if you want a watermelon margarita um, subscribe for more content and click the notification bell so you're the first to see our new videos see you guys in the next one bye see you guys so one thing that we recently just did was um, create a new Instagram account so you guys should check that out, look it up. Um, it's Life with Claire and Michael. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to you know, keep up with that. I hate to admit that um, I'm kind of an Instagram duty and it's 2021. He was using it on the computer last night. Yeah. I was like, he, he was gonna figure out how to do anything. I was like, I don't think this is made to use on the computer. I'm like, how do you even post a picture on, 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 on Instagram on a computer? I, I still don't know how. I don't think you can. I told him he was the only person in the entire world who was using Instagram on the computer at that moment. There might be like a million people on Instagram at that moment, but he was the only one on the computer. Yeah. It's pretty bad, I know. <laughs> so, anyways, check it out. Life with Claire and Michael.